Do you want to write music but have no idea where to start? In this video, I'll show you every dirty trick that I use to write an entire album as quickly and easily as possible. If you like music or dirty tricks, you're not going to want to miss this. Buckle up, this is about to get real. In this video, I'll show you all the tricks that I used to write an entire album in a few short weeks. And I'm also going to show you how I organized my project so that I could keep consistency throughout and make things super easy in the mixing and mastering process. Dirty tricks and super pro life hacks. Dirty trick number one, rules and restrictions. So by limiting what you're going to do when and in which sections of the song, you're kind of backing yourself into a corner which seems like a bad thing, but counterintuitively, it actually makes things more easy to be creative because you only have so many options and you don't go off in all kinds of different directions. So one of the things that I did to restrict myself and make things a little bit more creative, I assigned different instruments to different characters. This is not unique to me, but what I did is I decided that strings are for the undead and the bad guys. The six string guitar is for Dolph, our main protagonist. The eight string is for Klaus, his defender, and the sub protagonist. He's another point of view character, but he's not the main protagonist. And then keyboards go to all the supporting characters. Drums and bass are kind of like the narrator. They are consistent throughout and then cinematic sound effects where they're needed. Another restriction that I did was tempo. So I had an outline for the story. I just went through each of the songs and I put it at a tempo that made sense for thematically how it was doing. And I just went from there. Super pro life hack tip number two, fast and sloppy. So first I started with a drum beat, simple beat, bass snare, bass snare, either in normal time or half time. And I put it to the beat of those tempos that I outlined earlier. That's it. Then I added guitar. All I did was record noodling around on the guitar. I cut and pasted it. Anything that sounded good, I would cut and paste it into riffs. So I just drag and drop, put guitar parts where they made sense, cut and pasted it into things that made more sense, maybe re-recorded it if I did not get it in the first place, but I have an idea of what I want. And anything complicated, I just left a note and moved on. Nothing is too obvious. Leave a note if you haven't done something. It might seem obvious now. It might even seem obvious next week. But if you come back to it later, a note is going to help you out. It is not supposed to be perfect at this phase. Just get it done, get your ideas where they go, and move to the next song. You can forget about all of the little details until tracking. And sometimes those details sort themselves out anyway when you're doing something else. Super pro life hack tip number three, organizing everything. So I used color coding so that I could see what is where. I color coded my characters. I color coded the sections of the song, verse, chorus, bridge, intro, whatever. I color coded different instrument parts, but I also had to take notes because I am not a mantis shrimp and we only have like seven colors. Super pro life hack tip number four. Next dirty trick, streamline and batch everything. So if you could do one thing and then the next thing and then the next thing and then go back to do all of those things for the next song, you're going to do it slower than if you do things at the same time. When you're jumping between programs, you kind of forget what the keys do. When you're doing something different, your brain is not in the right space. And just transferring between tasks will slow you down. And you'll also be in the zone. So if you've been playing guitar for a while and you're feeling really good, putting your guitar away and doing something different is maybe not the best thing for you. Keep playing guitar until you get all your ideas out. Bonus super pro life hack tip. Save your work. Where else are you going to get tips like this? Bonus rock opera concept album tips. So reuse stuff all the time. This will speed things up, but also it creates a motif. You might recognize a drum beat from before. That's because it is from before. Take the drum beat, move it to the new song where there's some sort of consistent theme, and then it'll kind of glue the two songs together. Maybe change the hi-hat to a ride cymbal or something like that. 
then you'll have two things gluing it together and improving your storyline. Reuse chord progressions so you can do them at a faster speed. They should be building throughout up to the climax, but make sure you use that chord progression repeatedly and especially really catchy hooks. Try to use those throughout and sometimes just cut it and paste it into the next song. If you recorded a thing and it's at a different tempo with a different drum beat, then it'll sound different anyway. You're already done. It's going to save you some time, but it's also going to make things consistent. Little motifs, a series of three notes or something that's really catchy or a sound or a set of words. Reuse those things throughout to glue the whole thing together. What I did, I don't think it's necessary, but it made things easier for me. Everything is in the same key. So it's A minor. There's a little bit of A harmonic minor. And there's a little bit of modulation away from A minor, but there's only one step away from A minor, no matter what song on the album you are. And I only have to hit the white keys. It's super easy. I am bad at piano. So if you want me to go into any more depth in any of these processes, please put a comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see more of. And since I need engagement for SEO, also use the comment section to argue about unrelated topics. The thought of the day, please discuss. People don't think it'd be like it is, but it do.